powered by Broadnet Concepts. Thank you very much. Um, now we'll be moving to our next speaker. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a fellow Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria since 2008. He came into photography in 2002 while still working with an oil producing company. He left the, the oil and gas industry for full-time photography in 2007. That is indeed a tough choice to make. With a studio in Lekki, Nigeria, we all know that Lekki must be Nigeria, not Lekki, Lagos, because Lekki alone is uh, covering um, local and international events, a believer in learn, unlearn, relearn. Lipix described him as a man over, seven, over 50. Please welcome with me, Koede Olabanji Photo Nimi. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You chose to not to answer me, it's okay. I'm here anyways, and I'm here to be in your face. But I really appreciate uh, the organizers of this event. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why they qualify me to be here, but I'm here. But I must also tell you that this time, 20 years ago, I was in church taking matrimonial conjugal uh, bliss <laughs> and exchanging vows with my wife. So you can imagine this time, 20 years today, I'm here. All right. And if you follow me or probably you are very good on social media, you have seen the way I've been harassing people with my images of anniversary shoot since Monday. Right or right? Yes. And I really see that you've been enjoying the way I've been serving the buffet. I'm serving the buffet and I'm telling my stories. And I have a reason, which Life Picks uh, touched a little. I have a reason for everything. And the reason I'm doing this shoot or have done this shoot, I want to appeal to marriages to Stay together and not rush to divorce court. That's the reason. Just this morning while I was preparing, you know, I served another breakfast this morning with my pictures. And as I wore my clothes to have my breakfast, I got a call. And this guy was crying. So, uncle, 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 you know, what do I do? And my staff came into the room and he saw me counseling the person. All of a sudden, Fortunimi has become a counselor. All right. And the reason is, I have stood in my marriage. Please, if you are married here, stay with your wife. Stay with your husband. Marriage is like a pregnant woman. I've never been pregnant, but I have two children. And I was there when my wife gave birth. Or not gave birth, but at least I was there throughout. And I understood that there is no pregnant woman that found it interesting through the nine months pregnancy. Is there any woman? A number of times, because I remember my wife would just say, hey, I said, what's wrong? You say, oh, my, kick him in cool. That was a little pain. But every pregnant woman endures their pregnancy stage because they knew joy was coming ahead. So, and that is, if you think marriage will be rosy, irony. Bible did not promise us marriage will be rosy. In fact, the Bible is very clear. He said, if you remain unmarried, it's no sin. He said, but if you are going to marry, marriage has peculiar challenges. And the Bible continues to say that you will have to struggle to please your wife. That's what the Bible says. So. I was talking to husband. And when he was going to shock me, he said, Treat your wife by honoring her as a weaker vessel. That is one. Number two, he said, honor her as a joint heir to your grace of life so that your prayers will not be hindered. Aha! And I tell you, these were the things I learned before I married. So I consumed that verse as my daily goal. So, Bubu, Yatia, Omifi, Jemi, 
mufarada nitori pe abe ya yen ni re ojo waju mi wa and that is why i can stand putting my hand in my pocket very confidently that i'm 20 years in marriage and i look better than the day i married she be ni abibe ko all right so well, that's my my counsel on that because if you succeeded in your home then you are ready to succeed outside your home if you failed in your home you are not fit to rule the nation the bible is clear he said if you are, cannot manage your family how can you manage church it then means that there is no unsuccessful married man that should hold place of leadership in the society uh -huh. now i'm shaking the table but that's the truth okay I'm going to elucidate some things. Well, they, I don't even sure what they gave me to talk about. Where are my pictures? I'm not sure. But at least I knew when they sent me a letter to share my experience. Eh? My 19 years experience. So I want to be forced then. Thank God the MC did not give me time. Yes. And I will, you didn't give me time more. But trust, I won't waste your time. Because I know Larry is also here. I love Larry Shaw. I love Lipix. And by the grace of God, I have many people that love everything I stand for. And that is the reason I feel joy in my heart. Okay, so that lady said some things very profound. And that's why I'm going to, I want to elucidate on some things that he highlighted. He said, dress well. Now, I had an experience at Orifite in 2013. I went to cover a wedding. And it was a very big wedding. And so when I was ushered to the bride's room, I was the head. So they told me that all the media, they will be subject to me. That they will be subject to me. And I said, okay. So as we entered that room, for the first time in my life, I saw diamonds. I've never seen diamonds physically. I saw diamond rings, all those things. So seeing that bed, I could see value. So the first thing I said, I said, video people, uh -huh. photographers, I think God beg you, don't touch this bed, though. The way they have arranged all the items on this bed, so you shall take your shot. If you don't want us to fight, please do not touch, don't bend to arrange anything. Uh -huh. Because, just like she said, if anything went missing, photographers are the first to be suspected. And it shall never be that somebody will suspect me to be a thief. And it will shock you after the event. I was back to Lagos. The event planner called me. Only uncle, shele. Money what happened? He said, It's not you. It's not you. But one of the bangles of the bride is missing. I said, Jesu. How? He said, No, no, no. They may call you, but I already warned them that they dare not call photo Nimi because he will never touch anything that is not his. And that was the first time I was talking with that woman. Because the woman had to look for the best to get me to cover that event. Because that was an event the owner, the, the uncle, said he wanted a special wedding. And when the event planner did not understand what she was saying, what he was saying, he said, give me your account. And this man lodged into this woman's account, 100 million naira. He said, I want a special wedding. 2013. All right. So eventually, the woman now said they have found out and they realized that it was the bride's mother that stole the bangu. Okay, so imagine if I have not made my life so historic to the extent that I can have people's trust. They will have suspected it was me. And they could have slapped me before they realized I was innocent. Secondly, I covered a wedding in Lagos where area boy took over the MC of the wedding reception. I know that guy very well in Lagos. So when I see him, I'm on my toes. And the first time I saw this guy, as we got to church, he just came to see the man. And that was the man I have been shooting since 7 a.m. It was his 80th birthday. All of a sudden, this guy just came out of church. You know all these area boys? They do research more than you. They know where the next big event will be in Lagos. I hope you know. Aha. 
So this guy just said, that go, go. And before we knew, we got to the reception. When Baba was being sprayed, area boy was speaking that this morning. Because you know, people have been seeing him with daddy since church. The spirit in me disagrees with any evil happening around me. I went to the daughter. I said, see, so there's a guy picking daddy's money. Oh, can you please check that his daddy's staff? Because he's been saying his daddy's PA. And the lady went straight. He said, okay, 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 she only her daddy said I should pick. Who are you? He said, I'm daddy's PA. Hey, yo, she daddy's PA, need daughter or more. That's why they landed him a dirty slap. He's been an area boy. That's one. Then the one of so that day that now saw him. As I entered the reception, you know you had fi, one, you had fifty eight or something like that. One fifty, you know they had a room. So that's where the groom, you know, we had done a picture. So they were there. I said, let me go and check what was going on. I just saw this same guy. I'm just studying in for the real MC to come. So please, say Joko will be introduced. And as he was there, he had three other guys. They were been picking phones. That's what they do. And I went to the groom. I said, all right, your reception has been hijacked. He said, by who? I said, by an area boy. Very notorious. If you are not careful, even you. <laughs> but you know, this guy, you know, this maybe former court boys. So his voice was there. You know, say, Kido Shele. They went to match that guy here. The guy was defending himself. Why he should be handling that? He was telling the groom. And they told him, if you do not call your boys out of that place now and return every phone you have picked, I'm a joy loju. Right there and then, the guy removed his agbada. The area boy was wearing agbada. All right. So what she said about dressing well, not only dressing well, comporting yourself properly. And this will lead me to where I will shake the table here. It is unforgivable to have body odor. What did I say? I, I didn't really look for that English. It's unforgivable to have body odor as a photographer. It is very messy. Now, if you ever attended to a very clean lady, and each time you are going to adjust anything on her, you, you ooze or more. You have lost that client forever if they don't bounce you immediately. And sometimes when I see some photographers come into my studio, even some makeup artist girls, makeup artists don't have this kind of smell, but in most cases when they have these girls that help them carry, when they enter a studio, my tummy aches, and I tell the makeup artist, can you tell your girl to stay at the reception? I cannot, otherwise I may vomit. I, I say it straight. And let me tell you, you know, I'm 19 years. Because I've been through many things. And by the grace of God, oh, okay, this was taken in London. And when this uh, father saw this picture, he said, Kurede, where did you take this picture? When? I said, Uncle, was that not the reason why you brought me from Nigeria to cover this? I cannot be taking pictures like novice now. So open your eyes, just like, like he said. Please, I don't want to be lost because I have too many stories. But nevertheless, I think I should stop there. So please, it's unforgivable to have body odor. Clean your staff. And let me tell you, if you think, oh, they know I'm neat, everybody that represents your brand, they represent you. And whatever respect they give you is what they will give you. Or let me put it this way. Whatever respect or insult they pass on your staff representing your brand, you are taking it directly. So, before you send anybody out, ensure that even you, you are happy with the person. But that you will step out of my house and you represent photo in me and somebody will cast insult on me, it shall not happen. Okay. okay. This. Do you see, I didn't plan any image. So when I saw Lipe's doing presentation, I said, I hear me, me, gone. So I had to say, I had to call my staff. Quickly look, just pick. So most of these shots, I'm, I wouldn't have picked them. But they are here. But so about the day Lagos Island, let me know. There are some I deliberately said they should add. So don't mind me, I'm not this. I'm very good. You know I'm very good. Amen. Okay, so. Ah, God is good. Don't mind me, I'm not a pastor. 
but the Lord has blessed me enough to witness for him. Okay, let's go a little more technical. You know, we are in an environment now that situation has forced us to adopt some new normals, which is to work remotely. You know, you see, if you keep looking at here, see, this was taken with a Fuji film because I didn't understand it. And they said I should buy it, so I bought. I you know it's a mirrorless, and I'm a Nikon forever. So when I did this, I didn't understand it. And I was in New York. So and I now said, no, I was going to trade it for, for Z, Z6. So I went to um, uh, BH Photo Studio. That's where I got my things. And I, I said, see, I want to change this thing, X3. The guy said, no, this is better than, than, than Z6, whatever. He said, what you need to do? He said, did you ever do manual photography? I said, yes. He said, so wear your manual photography cap. This is the aperture. This is the ISO. Then deal with it. I was on my way to New Jersey to catch a boat. And I saw this. I quickly wore my manual cap with this DX3. This was JPEG. He was not raw. Because, like I said it, me, I have eyes. And I have my mind. Whatever is beautiful to me, you must clap for it. So train your mind to see. And so that I don't forget. I've never believed I'm in competition with anybody. And that's why since I've been working, you know, I'm 19 years as a photographer. And someone once deceived me. He said, Photo Nimi, I hope you know that you are the only one standing amongst all your colleagues that were in photography when you started. I say, hey, hey, me more. Because I've never picked interest in knowing what other people are doing. And let me tell you now, the future of your life is inside your heart. So when you want to jump into future, don't, don't research into what other people are doing. You are wasting your time. Because by the time you come out, you are competing with them. But what comes from within will ever stand you out. Did you hear English to that extent? What did I say you should do? Uh, so you have to always look within. This was also by the beach in one beach in New Jersey. Every time I'm in the US, there's a lady. If she's sick, she will tell the doctor, I'm okay now. When I have taken her picture and I've returned to Lagos, she will go back to the hospital. Jumoke is a die-hard photo Nimi fan. I cover her wedding hair. And I have so many people like that. And let me tell you, we are 19 years. I have 19 years old clients. The day they are picking wedding, they will tell me, if I'm busy, they may change that date. I can tell you that. So, me, I'm not competing with anybody. So, when we meet, and some people are struggling, I don't know what is wrong with them. Everybody has been settled. So, when you are giving me problems, I move. I take a perspective none of you can ever see. You know, life is, photography is all about perspective. What are you seeing from where you are standing? Right? Okay. So, the new normal. You know, nobody envisaged where we found ourselves. Ah, oh, no, they are not supposed to have done this. Okay. I won't talk about this one. All right. Uh, I didn't like that. Okay, you know, you have to, please, if you ever took this picture, don't post it anywhere. That particular other picture. You have to respect your client's um, agreement. And me, I'm so blessed that I don't have to sign anything with any of my clients. Whatever I say, they know it will never change. So who are you when it comes to your words? Integrity is one thing that will catapult you into the future. You miss it, you miss it. You can never act it. It's either you have it or you have it. And every adult is supposed to have integrity. Because the Bible says, let your yes be yes and no, you will not be no. So it's not, a, it's not permissible for you to be identified to never observe what you said. It is, not, it is ungodly for you to be reminded about what you said just because you have moved from it. So the new normal, ha, yes, Oh, the new normal, working remotely, the new normal, 
close your mouth now. Close your nose. God have mercy. When we are not in court, I have problems. But that is the new normal. But I also hope you know this new normal. See, this photo, again, this is an Edoma photo. This is not the image I wanted you to. And this, you know, during pandemic that we all shut down when Clepis was doing this one day somebody put me on Instagram live. I was saying, how do you reposition your company after pandemic? And I said, I think the answer to your question is, how do you ensure your company does not die during pandemic? Because it is the company that survives pandemic that can stand to be repositioned after pandemic. I then, so when I got to my bed, and as soon as I answered that question, that girl could not ask, ask another question again. So when I now wanted to sleep, I just had in my ears, eh, you answered well. But question is, how do you ensure photonomy does not die with pandemic? Because pandemic will die and go. Another three months, I feel, by the grace of God, we will not, be, we will not have to cover nose again. Because it's, I think, going out. And we're tired of it. And I think God knows that we're tired. <laughs> and that's my prayer, actually. And so, as I was reminiscing on it, I just had in my ears, the only way to ensure your company does not die is for you to stay relevant. Do images that will make people talk about your images. That will, do images that will make people talk about your name. Put your name in the mouth of your clients and it will never die. And I said, what am I going to do? I just had in my head cultural photography. Start photographing some communities the way they were brought up to do. Because fashion people have bastardized some fashion now. You see some brides dressed up and you don't even know whether they are from here or from there. And so the first thing I did, I said, I now saw a lady on my street. And let me also tell you this. The solution to your next level is not foul. It's in your neighborhood. So if you are one that you want to grow, you keep researching people in US, in US, you will fail. Because the next level of your life is your neighborhood. Open your eyes. The solution is around you. And I saw this lady walking on my street. Hey, I said, I love your hair. Where are you from? He said, from Benue. I said, where? He said, Idoma. Ah, I said, okay, Idoma, you people that wear black and white. He said, no, sir. We do red and black. I said, really? I said, so what do this color stand for? And he said, black. He said, red stands for royalty. He said, but black represents barrier shroud. I've never heard the word barrier shroud. So as I was trying not to hide my ignorance, I got on Google. And as I said, what does burial shroud mean? And before she got back to me, I already saw it on Google. It's burial tombs. Eruba me, and I had in my ears, these are the secrets we'll be exposing if you do cultural photography. People will tend to understand what we are losing. So on this lady, it's a color, it's a fabric representing love and burial shroud. It's not that deep. So any boys, Please don't be in a hurry to put a lady's back on the bed and do anything. They can suspend your life. Because you don't even know where they are coming from. So she comes to your house. I'm not saying they are fetish. I'm only telling you. Okay, so I'm going. To, let me leave again. Oh. Amen. Profited, Abby. All right, so I move. Don't give me time. Okay, thank God you are not looking at me yet. Hallelujah. All right, so please, eventually, I sold. After I did this, one week after I did this, I got a call from Dubai. They said it was. You know, Dubai Expo it was supposed to be 2020. They said they have a Nigerian maquis. And the only tribe missing on that maquis is the Doma tribe. And they told me, no photographer has ever photographed any Doma girl. Where did this idea come from? No. 
He came from inside. And my mother lives on my streets. I never met her. It is what you are looking for that you will find. Until your heart leads you, you will be misyanning and be mislooking and be looking elsewhere. Can we begin to concentrate on our neighborhood? That is where the bridge to the future is. That's what Lipix did. Photograph. Some people have unusual value and substance in your area. But because you have so underestimated your neighborhood, your blessing is not coming. Meanwhile, the person you always walk away from is the one that will link you to your future. Some people are so wonderful that at looking down on their, on their colleagues because you think it's not anything. So I once read a book. He said, who told you that the girl or the boy on your street that you are walking away from is not the one tied to your destiny? That lady called me and they wanted me to sell this image. And that was the first time in my life. You know, I've been an event person. They would come. I had, they paid what I asked. But it's not a matter, sir. It's not in the how much, but it's in the filling a gap that I never knew existed. Money is not everything, but you can take a step that would land you a substance that is more than monetary value. All right? Also during the pandemic, ha, my wife turned 50. And I, I, I was grateful because I turned 50 January 2020, right? So my wife turned 50 June 2020. Ah, I said, oh, Lord, no. And as I told her, something said, no. You have to do something for her. And right there, I made a decision to photograph my wife the way I have never photographed anybody in this world. It was a decision. I told you this morning, please, guys, let's pretend as if women are not here. You know, we are talking, all this thing is for us to succeed, though, right? So this is my personal experience. Guys, the future of your home is in your hand. And the future of home that you will have is in your hand. Please pick a vision that you will vehemently run after as if that is the only reason you exist. And I decided to do that. And I told my wife, I said, I want to photograph you. And I will photograph you the way I've never photographed anybody in this world. And I got online. In my head, I just had red. So I went online. I started looking for red dress. So I got one. I called somebody. I wanted to do a dress like this. Oof. Let me look for that photo. And I, that's what I want to see right now. I need a photo here. So, and I did it. And I said something. I said, God, I wanted the result of my wife's photography to launch another line of business for photo Nimi. And I fasted about it. My wife did not know about it too. So, men... If you want to jump into the future, it's not every time that you have to share with your wife. Just be original and know what you are doing. Because if it's well, it is for your good above all. And I did it. And behold, I posted, oh, my wife's photo now. By the time I finished, sir, Photo Nimi got another line of substance that was beyond my imagination. People st started coming to my studio. In fact, at some point in 2020, I got a message. Is it that you only photograph 50 year old now? Because they were coming in droves. And just November here, somebody came from Babi Babylon. Abi? Babylon. 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 At that point, he said, Oga, he had, she had sent her daughter, uh, sister to book me. So she came. She said, this is the photo I saw. And I took this photo around in, no, is it Babylon? It's not Babylon. It's, anyway, I will remember. And this is the 
Oh, why would I not remember now? I can't remember now. Lebanon. He said, and she made that outfit better than the one I did for my wife in Lekki. And I told her. And she said, so I arranged my photo shoot to happen here. And I did her photo shoot. Had I not been intentional with my white photo shoot, would I ever had that opportunity? Please, I repeat, your future is in your heart, not in researching what other people are doing. Because if that's what you are doing, you will lose yourself. All right? Well, you people shows that I won't see my wife. It's okay. I agree. Acquire. Well, I know when Lipik said that camera is good, camera is not good, it's not, ne it's not necessary, it's not part of it, everything is together. There is one thing that makes me stand here, and I will tell you consistency. I've been consistent. Consistency in the area of continuous and never ending improvement. You can never forget me in the past because I'm not ready to be junked. So I'm always available to learn. And I learn from everybody and anybody. I, I, in fact, I'm not sure I've ever met a photographer that has better equipment anytime I hold my camera. Tori Moman knows all equipment too. So in that way, you may not follow me because my first camera in 20. In 2002, I bought for 402,000 naira. Aha. Hello, did you hear what I said? My first investment in camera, the first camera I bought, Canon 1N, I bought it 402,000 naira in 2002. And every time, I just left D5. When I bought D5, I bought it for $5,500, body only. So Emma telling me, but on the mission here, a old one could only do a year. Do you understand what I'm saying? But there is a new camera. It's called Canon 780. And it was my friend in the US that said, I should not buy this. So uncle, don't waste your money. Buy this 780. So one day I was just shooting. And behold, after fiddling with some things, by the time I said, okay, let me download and sync, I realized that all the pictures I've been taking this client were entering my phone directly. Surely, by the time I sent two pictures to them, we are still in their house. They shouted, photo to me, you will never die. So, you have to continuously improve what you know. And let me put this in your mind. As far as development is concerned, there is no end. So, there is something that you can still learn. That is why I stand. But I can tell you, it's been God all the way. As soon as you have set your mind to fly, wings will be delivered to you. So far, all you want to do is to crawl. Eh? It's not necessary. They will also leave you in heaven. If all you want to be doing is to wait until somebody moves before so that you can compete, that is why you can never be the best because they know that the best is always who you are trying to follow. But when you choose to be who you want to be, regardless of what anybody is doing around you, all right, I hear speak a lot of you, but it might be no. Be humble, be approachable. You get to use some photograph. You see, this is too much for me. I cannot carry camera like this. So this is my actual actual Italian body. See, if you ever see me at event, my black forever. And there's a way I will guard myself. Larry sees me many times. All right? And you don't have to know me because I don't know you. The people that matter to me are the people that paid me to be here. But the only thing that you will never see. It's me, I will never capture what did not happen. So far, it happened there. I've covered an event whereby pastor said, bride, groom, 
kiss yourselves. And all of a sudden, I saw bride's mother and father kissing each other. And let me tell you, I now showed it to the video. You know, I love to show my pictures. The video said, Oh, ah, Money I do one pin now. Fine. Now, I will shock you ladies. I was covering a wedding in Lagos. You know, you people, you do uh, that. Uh -huh. You know, these ladies, one, one shoulder high, the other one just covering the boo-boo. Uh -huh. So this place was bare, but this one was hanging. They now said, bride. Hey, no, not this one. There's one, the one that has bow. That's my wife. Isn't she lovely? <laughs> hey, this is the shot this is my wife and this I did in the studio that is my wife that was her 50 years birthday be intentional with what you do you see that lady that left said somebody's leave and uh, something hero are you at the journey that's Steve. You will correct it on your system. Like this, I bound. You only have to understand that that's what you needed to do. Now, ha, I just remember this experience. Somebody brought to my office a, a portrait in somebody's house. Sir. Her portrait for her wedding. So inside that portrait is her veil. And you know veil is always transparent. There's an a head of an old woman showing in the veil and that woman is not her grandma the woman was only stand, sitting down somewhere when the photographer took that picture and that is the image the photographer decided to blow for them so the head of the woman so the woman could never put it up in her house and so she met me six years after her wedding and brought this portrait. I said, what? So I requested for the CD. And so, it was era of CD. So they brought the CD. By the time I opened the CD, all the images in the CD, the photographer wrote his name and his phone number across every image. Ha! Huh. That, that is ungodly. I then called this photographer. When I called this photographer, I realized that he's on my contact. I said, oh, I know you, but I'm not sure I know this face now. This, this, this. He said, ah, no. That is how his boss taught him. I said, ha, ah, who is your boss? So he mentioned. I said, I know your boss too well. I said, but where do you live? He said, Mushi, your boss is a son of a very rich man. Your boss only works for the friends and people that need his father's attention. The guy was charging one million. That's the first photographer I know charges one million many years ago. I said, now, that's the way he taught you. It's good for you to learn, but it's now your responsibility to pick those things that will work for you. Hello? Did you hear what I said? Please, as soon as you have been settled, don't mess up the images of your clients. They won't come back to you. If you think that's where you want to retain them, I keep saying to a mechanic, you will not fix his car very well because you want him to continue to come back. He will never refer people to you. It's the same thing. And let me also tell you this. When I said integrity, I covered the wedding, and that is the fourth wedding your uh, sister. But at the end of the day, we realized that I didn't have to do two volumes of album for the wedding because it's a big house. So, because it would just be messed up. And they had paid me 80% of the previous, of my package that will have one album for engagement, two albums for the wedding. That's where we do it. So, I now only did one album for engagement, one album for wedding. Are you following me? Are you following me? At the end of the day, I sent this album. Allah back with me. Ah. Show. I love these photos. And so, what's your 20% balance? Just send me the balance on your account because she, he was in Abuja. I said, no, sir. I said, you are not owing me. I'm supposed to return money to you. He said, for what? 
I said, sir, I did not do two albums anymore. I only did one album for this. Can you? So I'm supposed to return 90,000 to you. Please send me your account. How many of you can do that? And let me tell you who we are talking about. Former MD, NDIC. Does he need my money? That's why some of you think, not some of you, that's why some of us think, oh, he doesn't need my money now. I return the money, but let me tell you, in that house, anything, if anybody wants to sneeze and they want photographer, photo the mini. And one of the weddings in that house, when I was busy, they changed the date. That's what integrity can earn you. I hope I'm not insulting some people here. We will get there. Oh. Because when I see my wife, I'm confused. So please take this picture. You will. Always pick your mobile phone. What did I say? Always pick your mobile phone. You see some photographers, they, they are so big. You know me, I'm still praying to be big. Some photographers are so big, they don't pick their course. And let me tell you, I got a, I, I then, always respond to your DMs. Why is it that you now neglect them? This is a mobile phone. See, you see, I'm talking to you, my mobile phone is here. I sleep with it. Uh -huh. Why? Because I do not put my advert in everybody's life. Other than what I just put on social media. And I keep praying for God to bless me. How will blessing come if I don't pick the link to the world? So, I got this DM. They asked me questions and I answered. And they asked me and I answered. What did they want to do? They wanted to send their mother who lives in London to Nigeria for me to photograph for her 70th birthday. Are you with me? So, we agreed. I chose the date. The woman came. I was the one that provided the makeup parties, the hair. The woman does not say Nigeria. But she said, Yoruba woman. And when we were done, the woman got back to London. The woman got back to London and was saying, Ah, Tomari Korede. Ah, Omada Dani. The people don't know who Korede is. They only know photo Nimi. And I said, Mommy, who is Korede? Ah, if you know photo Nimi, you have not known Korede. You don't know anything. And that shocked the children because they said to me, That was the first time anybody ever had any impact on their mother. He said, So whatever you did, sir. We now want to bring you to London to surprise her on her birthday. And they were ready to fly me business class. He said, anything you ask. And I said, what is this date? And they told me the date. Unfortunately, I had an event in New York that same weekend. And the event I have in New York will start Sunday morning 10. And their own event was Saturday evening. And if I have to make Sunday morning New York, I must fly out by, of Heathrow by 5 p.m. when their own event will just be starting. So I said, no, I could not. I do not cancel poor man's appointment because of rich man's money. I will refuse it. That's what integrity is. Any man for you but when you are in your lane and you have tried to observe everything observable as far as integrity is concerned so because I picked my mobile I got that now let me now be funny when I returned from America they told me anytime I was back I should let them know so I came back this same family now called me they said the photographer they got for the mama's event messed up he said uncle we are now going to send Mama back to Lagos. So Mama came back to Lagos with all the four clothes she wore. And I had to rephotograph her. That was when then the lady told me, he said, please, anytime you are in UK, you will have to photograph my family. That's the daughter now. And so when we were doing it, I asked a question. They lodged me in, in, in one hotel in SS for two nights. 
because I wanted to photograph them. And I said, when they were not giving me gifts, how did you even, who, I said, who introduced you people to photo Nimi? They said, nobody. That they sent messages to six photographers. They said, photo Nimi, you were the only one that replied. And that you didn't just reply. Each time you reply messages, you replied within 30 minutes. What have you learned? Are you still a big boy that don't pick your call? Are you still a big boy that don't... See, nobody can ever understand your vision like you. So when you put your vision in the hand of your staff, and you let more. Benga is here. That's my staff. He's the closest to me in my office. Benga has spent 11 years with me. I have one that has spent 17 years with me. I'm blessed. Can you be a blessing too? Can your staff honor you? Or you are a cause to them? There are many things. Because this is an aspect of photography that you will not hear. But I'm a photographer. Photo monya. But my life is this blessed. So, so juggle and rejuggle. Uh, Reborn. You know, in those days, oh my reboy, um, block, one re grind, crankshaft. We don't do it anymore. They don't understand. Who understands crankshaft and block? Baba Mamo. One reboy, other for you, Baba. Please, that's what you need to do to your heart if you want to make unusual prosperity in the industry that you have chosen to come into. Okay. Now that I'm still here, let me say this. We are in an era whereby you cannot rely on a mono source of income. No. It's not acceptable. So when um, my abro, like he said, he doesn't know what to do. Well, you, now you know. Because now is a time whereby you have to listen to yourself more than ever. You know, there's no gathering anymore. So, God is in you. Listen. It's coming. That's one. Number two, be sensitive to your environment more than ever because that's the solution you have been waiting for. Don't despise anybody or any resource around you. So, after answers, ah, I decided to go into another business that I didn't plan for. Now, let me also drop another bomb. When you are doing the right thing, and heaven is supporting you. And you are not going after evil. You know, there's a verse in the Bible. It says, Do not think evil against your neighbor because these are the things God of hosts hates. So if you are here, you are beefing somebody. Oh, my so if you are here and your a part of you is cursing and wishing another person evil, it is a curse. It will stop your blessing. So if you don't do that, let me now tell you what will be happening. The blessings you did not pray for will begin to come for you. So now, I have farm and I sell cows. I sell goats. I sell lives, I sell, what, what are you saying? Turkey. And kids last winter. I woke, I woke. Do you know who is managing for me? Hi. You know who is managing for me? When we had to manage it, I just had in my ears, call Abdullahi. Abdullahi was my gate man for eight years up to when I moved to my house in 2008. I've not heard anything from Abdullahi since 2008, sir. So I now started looking for. I called my former house. This Abdullahi the crow leko. Cut all the story. I got in touch with Abdullahi. Abdullahi, I want you to look for somebody, wake up good like you, that can manage my goat farm because goat la la fe marche loco. Are you with me? And I said, oh wow. Abdullahi said, Ogami, you call me. I no go send anybody. I go leave Kebi 
I go come back to Lagos. You say, Ogami, you are a good man. What life can our staff testify of us? And today, I, goat, I call a blind for goat. By the time we bought the first goat, I like now call me, Ogami, cow, cow, good, good business, cow. Ah, which one is cow again? He said, Time money, time money. I tell you, I play. Okay, me, okay, me. Tolo, tolo. Good, good business, good business. Ah, tolo, tolo. Okay. Who is Abdullah, my former gate man? Please don't despise the people around you because they are the link to your future. You know, I have said that many times, huh? Who is who is fighting me now because I'm saying that too much? I don't care. You will. By the time you are sleeping tonight. You begin to make amends with all those people you have caused trouble in their lives. Begin to call them and apologize so that your life can be an easy trail into the future beyond your thought. Improve on your relationship with all around you. Can you imagine? Mm. So I won't talk again. Now, this is very important. Change is inevitable. What did I say? Some, you know, they said change is what? It's other for instance, it's all life, life. Change is constant to life. You say constant K when we're doing statistics. Oh, hey, water, water. You people, you are disturbing me. Then they want to drink water. Are we still together in this class? I said, change is what? Uh -huh. Someone quoted what accounting belief is. Well, soon I said, Accounting, I open my ears because as a fellow shattered accountant, I shouldn't be taken to be an ignorant when you mention anything in accounting. He said, every debit entry, every debit entry, <laughs> so every change should attract what? Adaptability. What did I say? Adaptability, Benny. As soon as change is occurring, you too, you are adapting. At to today, I want Baba. Emma so far, sir. Money be a ye ban ye law. I add a for you, Emma by any. Because if there is anything we don't have control over, what will happen tomorrow? Nobody knows. But it's a teacher, Lenny. How far have you coped with it? Emma Safa ye. I do one way. Do you understand what I just said? So, please, be expectant to attend to every issue that comes your way. If you run away from these small, small things, you have successfully eloped from the blessing that is in hide in these issues, if there's any issue. So, every change requires what? Adafuni. So from this side, every change requires what? So you adapt to every change and you will not be left. Yes, I know you are coming for me. God bless you, sir. Hmm. The future of these two change and what? Uh, Benny, we give you peace of mind. Yes, sir. Why are we in this world if you don't have peace of mind? So I'm able to say peace is the essence of life. Now, let's So I, I describe peace to be like this. Peace is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is rather than as you think it should be. Change is the result of retraining your mind to process life as it is rather than as you think it should be. I have a new way of life. Maybe that is why my life is this settled by his grace. And my new way of life is this. Anything I don't have control over, I don't think about it. 
I have a question for the house. And I'm going to positively harass somebody. And I will harass somebody who don't know me until now. Aha. Somebody is saying, hold watch, I know me. Okay, so I'm, oh yeah, come in, sir. Since it's you and I. Yes, it's your eye that caught my own eye. Please come. Eh, hold more. Yes, God bless you, sir. So it's a simple question. And I know you will not let me down. That's what I felt. So, ah, eh, 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 wadu jogun, eh, mabo. All right, so question is, sir, if there is a situation and there is something you can do about the situation, what do you do? What type of situation, sir? Sherry, what are you? Sherry, what are you? You know, they say in Nigeria, they answer a question with, sir, I don't want you to think beyond what I said. So I ask again, if you are faced with any situation and there is something you can, excuse me, are we together? Excuse me, hello, thank you. So if there is a situation and there's something you can do about the situation, what do you do? Oh God, you, why did you disappoint my situation? Why, why did you disappoint my situation? Okay, stay here. Okay. So, when there is a situation facing you, and there is something you can do about the situation, what do you do? I will do it immediately. Now, second question. If this situation, there is nothing you can do about it, what do you do? I will leave it for God. Thank you, sir. God bless. It's a way of life. Is there anything you can do to the situation? Then do it. Is there anything you can do to this situation? No. Then leave it. Are you with me in English? Ma'am? Alaya? Now. The reason we exist in this world is to have peace of mind. Now, my new way of life is this. Everybody will be okay. Last, last. Let me be okay. There's this post I saw sometime and it was sent to me. I love it a lot. Young guy, you just know that the guy lives abroad. He said, General Dada, wash your Dada. Anybody about this job, eh? down down. <laughs> that was fun, but it's a life style that people should adopt. Do you know why? If you died for a situation, it's your enemy that will post stand. Why do you want to die? Anything that is beyond your control, leave it. Go and sleep. Because if you trouble yourself about it, you will die with it. And your enemies will clap their hands. And that is not your portion. Okay, now we are back to church. <sighs> okay, so I have five minutes more. As soon as you do this, I'll shut up. All right. So, many people have heard my story. But you know what? People that know me very well in this studio, I said studio, in this office, they know I have too many stories and I've not touched any of them. You know? Why? Because if I started my story, you people, you would just be shouting. So I'm just going to give one, which I've given before. Auntie, brother, you want to God bless you. All right, so, and that is how to do or to relate with your staff. I just shouted at them, and they took it positively. And because they know I do not mean evil for them. That is how you should chastise your staff. Have I just spoken? So, just one, and I will leave this. I have too many, and I am blessed it is in your line of 
dedicated duty that your blessing will catch up with you. So, stay in the field that you know God has destined for you. Because that is where your angels are residing. So, in 2007, when I left work, in 2008, I was just on my own and all of that. And in 2009, so when I moved to my house in 2008, so one day we were moving in Saja, and so I told my wife, I said, me move badura, say me no. He said, okay. I said, until we are ready, nobody should think photography on Lake Expressway. He said, amen. He said, there you are. I didn't know what I said, and I didn't know God heard it. So in September 2019, I received a call. No, 2008. No, 2009, sorry. So I received a call. You know, no Blackberry in 2000. And, uh-huh. Okay, maybe it was out of Blackberry, but I didn't have phone that had Blackberry. So I got a, a text early morning from my client, 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 who said to me, God said I should take you to your dream. What do you want? And I said, ah. He said, what's your long-term dream? So I know being an accountant, I said, my short-term dream is to make my studio and printing lab on Lake Expressway. And she answered, she said, how do you hope to achieve that considering the cost of Lake area? They had not given me my severance benefit or what do you call that thing? Uh, parting benefit from my corn oil producing. So I said, ah, ma, I've been waiting on my payoff from corn oil producing. And she asked the question. He said, does corn oil producing engage staff, uh, engage photographers? Because she knew me as a photographer. And I've never explained to her who I am. Don't jump at giving your life history to your client. They don't need it. Okay. So, and I answered. He said, no, ma. I'm not... I said, I'm not originally a photographer. I'm an accountant. And so I was an accountant there. And I said, what? And she called me to do this down. When she called me, okay, she said that she come and see her in the office. So I'm going to her in the office. And she made a statement. She said, God woke me up at 2 a.m. And said, that photographer that works for you has integrity. Take him to his dream. He said, Kuredi, what's your dream? And now she saw that I was shedding tears. Only on Sukuni, money no ma, money integrity is my watchword. And I've never sat with you to discuss my life. I'm just amazed at how God shows you to help me and emphasize integrity. He said, Kuredi, Masha, no meal. Anything you want, I will give you. He said, but note, you will pay back, but you pay back any time is convenient for you. And I told her, I said, Auntie, my mother died when I was a baby. I've never seen her. So he told her, I don't have a father, I don't have a mother. That's why my life is stagnant. That is why God should take you. Because David said, when my mother and father forsook me, that was when the Lord took me up. So, yeah. And I told her, I said, my father died when I was 19. Aha. I said, so, and I didn't read it anywhere that my father kept one money ahead. I said, so, ma, I will return your money. He said, okay. I said, but give me three days, ma. He said, today is September 24. I will be out of the country October 1. Whatever you wanted, I wanted it to have cleared into your account. Masha Anumio. And she said, see me Monday morning, 7.30. And I told her, I said, until nobody discusses outflows on Monday morning. He said, no, it has become a responsibility God has given her, and she will not sleep until she has done it. And I tell you this, on Sunday, she sent me a text. He said, Koredi, remember to factor in your working capital. You know you will not start making money immediately. Oh, Lord, you know what? Boy, oh, Lord, it's your loan about that. 
And behold, on Monday morning, as I stepped into her office, her secretary said she's waiting for you. 7.30, Monday morning. And I asked for 25 million naira. And she said, show my toy. And I said, yes. And she asked me a question. He said, God said I should take you to your dream. With 25 million, take you to your dream in 2009. And I said, he will not take me to my dream, but he will put me on the pathway to my dream. When God is in your situation, he will teach you what to say at every time. So, and so she, she, she gave it to me. So she now said, call someone. He said, my brother needs 25 million. Don't ask him any question. Just give it to him. So I went to see the person. When I got home, I said, Kemi, oh, not nothing, nothing, you. You know I don't look married. Judge your law. And you can imagine, take 11 years away from my face. I was very young. Amen. And we entered this office to cut out this long story. I got 25 million without signing anything. No collateral. I didn't sign anything. So when I was to sign something, I said, Auntie, this is not my name. He said, the woman that sent you here, that's her full name. She said she would return the money if you ran away. I said, Olong Onige. And God helped my life. Two years, I refunded the 20 million naira, 25 million naira. That was when the woman now called me back. He said, Kurede, they said you have returned the money. Ibolo Robo. And I told her that, Auntie, did you not tell me that God said I had integrity? If I had run away, would I not have disappointed the God that asked you to help me? And she made a statement that day, and I dropped this mic after. He said, you are not the first I helped, but you are the first that returned my money. If you are given such opportunity, oh yeah, shake yourself. Thank you. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Koride Olabanji Foto Nimi. A louder round of applause, please. That was beautiful. That was inciting. That was educative. That was informative. That was um, not what I expected to hear at this conference. I thought I'll be hearing things like um, speed angle, lighting. But the truth is that um, this is what will make your brand stand the test of time. I think it deserves another round of applause. <laughs> if you permit me to express your I will say Babani Wabanje. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. He made very, 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 very salient points. Um, he dwelled so much on integrity. And he tried his best to chip in a bit of integrity in every point that he made. Um, he spoke, and I would, I would quote it and say, he said we should think globally, but act locally. He also spoke about um, continuous and never-ending improvement, which means that you can never, never, never know enough. So you keep learning. Um, he said that your list staff is an expression of the brand. So don't just look good. Make sure that everybody representing your brand is an ambassador. He said um, every change requires a corresponding adaptability, um, referring to the accountant who made. And um, in my opinion, he finished with a song that says, Mi yole waku, mi yole. Barami. Thank you very much. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We'll take two questions before we have um, Mr. Olari Wajosho take the stage. Um, I'll try to limit my questions to people that have not asked um, because I saw one hand that has asked. Um, okay, I'll take the guy in the heart and um, the guy in the heart too. So we'll have you please rush forward. Thank you very much.
please make sure that your, question, your questions are limited to this presentation so that we don't ask questions that the next speaker hasn't spoken about. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ajao Silas. So I want to ask one question. Your story has inspired me a lot today. But my question is, um, has there been any time where you felt like, okay, I want to leave photography? Or has there been any time where you just, only you in the room and you felt like, I don't think this is my path. I just have to leave this. How do you handle your dad down times? Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's question one. We'll take question two. Okay. Good day, sir. My name is Moiwa John. Mm, I want to ask a question. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Moiwa John. I want to ask a question based on what you said. Sir, please, how do you cope with proud photographers while you get into an event and the moment the photographer sees you, she just develops a feelings of hatred and find all means to frustrate you. Sorry, again, please, how do you cope with lies? Because photographers, lies and lies is very close to us. When you don't lie to ladies at times, they won't believe you. So at times, you have to lie. I'm, I'm not saying you have to lie, but you being a religious person, how do you fight lies? Sorry, I want to ask again, how, how can you differentiate being humble to a client and being stupid to a client? Because at times, while trying to support, they can take you for a fool. And secondly, I want to ask, how do you mix emotions? Like being emotional and being, being serious with business. Sorry, I want to ask again. Is it possible for you to make peace with all your clients? Make peace with all your clients. Can you make peace with all your clients? And the last one, I'm very sorry, is how do you do with people you can't control? You know, there's some clients, no matter how you tell them, you have done this, you have traveled, you have done this, they will tell you that this is what I want. And you, Pastor, you know that is wrong. Thank you very much. It's beginning to sound like you had written those questions yesterday. But we have... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, I trust you to put me a reminder of some that I can't remember. Bring your, your notes, please. Okay, so I'm going to be very fast. I I may have <laughs> one or two more questions. Okay, so the first question or the from is how do I handle what now? The very first question. That first question. He said that down, down times. Time. Okay, have you so ever felt like that? Yes, I have. There was a time I actually thought, how will I have the kind of lifestyle I propose for myself if I continue to be a photographer? Because I wanted my children to school abroad and uh, all of that. And so it, it affected me and I had to think. And that was when I was losing it and I had to take a course in coaching with Larry Olushola. Many times, solution to a problem is further learning and you have peace. Did you, did you hear what I just said? What did I say? That's the solution. Just make yourself available to learn further. Then you have peace. So that's when I had to take that course. And uh, then later, I took another course at ABS, uh, EDC. All right? And um, so I, I felt that way. And that, as soon as I took those two courses, I had my peace. Then someone told me that year, he said, Photonimi, invest more in your studio. You can still make money in your studio, not events. All right? So, and that didn't come until four years after. Oof, another story. It will take time, so I won't say I won't say anything. Ah, God. Okay, so let me summarize it because everybody will learn. So during just before someone, I was in London. Someone called my staff called. He said someone said said, said someone was here. That uh, that tell your girl to renovate here and let him start charging us higher. We will pay because we love him. Have you ever heard that from people before? And I go back. Eventually, we did it. As if God prepared us for COVID-19. Because if we had not done that studio, ah, and no events, I don't know how I would have lived my life. So that studio was ready. And as soon as we entered that studio, let me be very sincere with you. December 31, 2019 was just one day. That one day, we made in that studio twice the highest amount 
we have made in any month in six years. Aha, I confused them. So I leave it. So it has happened. But you only have to relax. Learn more and be open to understanding. And you have a way to go. So I now come to this barrage, a mirage of questions. Oh yeah, shoot. Fast. Go ahead, sir. I will beg the yeah. Now, copying a proud photographer, the first thing is are you humble yourself? That's the first. That lady said, uh, you summarize it, that the way you address is the way you address it. Well, yeah. But, you know, I know with my humility, some people have still gotten on my feet. And so when you are stepping on my feet, I will leave you, I will go elsewhere. Because I will never show myself to you. I'm very proud, but only inside my house. I hope somebody got what I just said. As soon as I step out of the Lintel of my house. <laughs> Everybody look at me. Why they let me go to work with me? Poor. Me. And I don't have to let you know. By the time I left, where's Benga? This Benga. We were at an event, sir. I've been tired. You know, we get to Bryce House at 6 37. At about 3 p.m., I wanted Coca Cola just to quench my Wahala. After running in the sun for a chebai, a chebai, ha! I asked a service guy, please, can I take a Coke? He said, This drink is not for photographers. <laughs> he had, maybe were you the one with me or another person? My staff went after the guy. He said, Ole Rai, Ole Edeti Daru. So, uh, did you hear what I said? Just said. Another time, small shop, everything for me. Sir, can I, I, you know, I'm so humble that I will use sir for service person so that Ali shall know me. I said, sir, can you please, even if I use sir for you, it should be a tear with me. The camera I'm carrying, does it look like Papa Papa? And you lost school, I'm carrying $10,000 camera, small shop. Only get out of there. <laughs> a mother of a photographer who I never knew. He, she's the mother of that photographer. Saw me. What the photo me? This how they treat two people. Because her child is a photographer. So oh yeah. She stood up. Only come and sit here. The woman now called that guy. <laughs> Surely he will not pick anyone here. You will now go. Come back with a fresh one. So, the question is, are you humble yourself? That's the first. If you're humble yourself, if they're getting your face, it will be it will be. Larry has worked with me many times. He knows the way I behave. You will never see me. But there is nothing that happened that I will not cover. Because many times, see, somebody, what some people did here, I don't do it. I will never cover a guest because I want to take a shot. Never. Baba, show you. If I ever stood, look at the way I do. Will he ever complain? I was never in his face. But some people. No. So those are the things. So when you carry your, that's why I said, comport yourself properly. Don't be important because you're a photographer. These are guests. These are their important guests. Do you understand? So, oh yeah, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, I don't know about lies because I don't tell lies. And so I will not be available for you to tell me lies. Oh yeah, next. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> be humble and be stupid. Do you think I'm stupid? Do you understand what I just said? Did, did somebody get me here? Ah, do you think I'm stupid? Because I don't even know who I'm talking to. So, that identifying between being humble and being stupid. When you say, do you think I'm stupid? You. Eh, you are beginning to be proud. Because you don't even know who you are talking to. But be humble. The Bible says... This is he that I will look unto, a humble spirit 
and contrite mind. Do you understand? So please, and I said this. So a client came to my office after I've covered three of her children's wedding. You know, these people, they don't ever come to your office. So, but sometimes they want to take passports. Photo me, do you take passport? Oh, yes, mommy. And my boy, when she entered my studio, she called her firstborn. He said, ah, photo Next time, to bati wale ma kun le kini o. O ten gba dura fun lo ti ni o. Eh eh. Let your client find out your pedigree and what you have and don't tell them because when you show it your attitude. <laughs> Who told you that the last one of their house does not have better qualification than you? Oh yeah, next. Missing emotion is work is not Tolerable. Because they paid you here. So you can't bring the emotions your wife casted on you this morning. Wife my feet corner. Oh ma, once I'm over MBO. Oh, the Bishop Lee was be by. Am I speaking? So when you are out, the first thing I had, and I think it was like this that said, when she even said, This is maybe I will not remember. See, as soon as you have accepted to do a job. Don't let excellence be don't let excellence be absent. Because after walking away, what will remain for you is what you left behind. And this is why I always make this statement, which I will make now, believing there's no other question. Thank you. Ah, oh God, you are lost. So the thing I always say is this. And please listen very carefully and jot down how it jumps at you. The longevity of your system is dependent on what you leave behind for the client. The way, another way to put it is this. What do you what value do you leave with your client beyond the money they paid you? What will your client remember about you? Is it that the only thing they will remember is they debited their account? Show me. <laughs> me. I sell relationship. You cannot meet with me and not remember me where you want to sleep. Who will not remember me now? Hello? You will forget me? Not immediately. At least not today. The way I just spoke, that's the way I treat all my clients. If I walk away, you must look for me. It is so bad. It might be no more waste time. It is, no, it is so bad that I covered an event in Port Harcourt. Are you in English? In Port Harcourt. They didn't give me anything. No. I got back to Lagos. They called me the Tuesday after returning to Lagos. They said, Mr. Fortunimi, please send your staff to pick your souvenir. Ah, about the message. This was 2014. Right. And I said, ah, how? Then I sent my staff. You go in, I have a card. The guy got to Parkview. Oh, no, sir. I cannot carry what they want to give you. I now sent a taxi man. Now, oh, and I said to the taxi man, by the time the taxi man got to my, ah, no, 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 keep going. Ah, oh, look on the motor, sir. It's Kenwood. Different product of Kenwood. When I, when I go home, my wife asked me a question. She was like, go, yeah, won't <laughs> Ah, too much. But really, if you presented yourself as a very responsible man, they will never forget you. I'm an adopted siblings in many homes beyond Yoruba land. And every time I travel out of the country, if I dare return back, and some of my clients should now read that I was in that country, come and see fights. The first time I went to Canada, it was for a wedding. They gave me two years. When they gave me that two years, I said, can you change my father? You are you there? I go back, 
Sir, before the expiration of the visa, this thing, someone else flew me to Ontario for baby christening. Ejo. I want to have baby christening, they were 35. They flew me from Nigeria. Right? And when I was done, I came back home. Please invest relationship in your service to your client. And that's my case. Thank you very much, sir. Powered by Broadnet Concepts.